，中国将致力于构建横跨太平洋两岸、汇集各方的地区合作框架。太平洋之所以广大，是因为它没有任何自然阻隔，我们不应该为它设定人为的阻隔。浩渺形如疾，扬帆淡信风。Boundless is the ocean where we sail with the wind is a line taken from a Chinese poem a thousand years ago. It means there is no geographical limits to where we travel to meet friends. The aspiration has gained new dimensions in modern China. In the past 40 years, China has reformed its economy by joining the wider world with the conviction that openness is the way to growth and wealth. International cooperation has seen a new era. How should China adapt to a changed world? Let's meet Lee Barrett to talk about how China opened up. Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good, good. The quotation that I make in the beginning is actually a Tang poem. The ocean is boundless if we can sail with the wind. It's a metaphor that we can make friends from afar. Is there any similar phrases that come from your culture? I don't know any English ones, but I know one by a very famous American um, business person, Henry Ford. Henry Ford. And he said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, mm. and working together is success. And I think mm. that's really interesting, you know, about working together. We all work together, everyone will benefit, everyone will be successful. What about some Western companies' complaints about China's uh, level playing field? Is it giving the same benefits, services to Western companies as the Chinese counterparts? Actually, I think that China is still very open to, to foreign investment. There's a huge internal market. They can also get, you know, the, the, the manufacturers here are really adopting sort of um, modern manufacturing, automated manufacturing. So not only can they get better quality product manufactured here, they also have access to the internal market and they can get their products manufactured cheaper here. So opening up China is serving China well, but is it also serving the rest of the world as well? Absolutely, and I think that's a good thing. Personally, I think that's, that's the right thing to do. I think if, if people, if countries cooperate, the general people will, will benefit from that. Um, whereas I think the way America wants to go now by, by closing themselves off, I think that doesn't, that doesn't benefit the people at all. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like if you, you, you look at um, currently Huawei, it's stopping any American people using Huawei equipment. They can't get access to the best technology because their government is, is scared of competition. Yes, probably in this divided world, Keeping it together is still the message. I think so. When I compare what I see here on the ground in China, I see China as being a leader in so many of these areas. They use that leadership in a very humble way, offering their help, opening up the opportunities. It takes time to do that. It's not uh, a policy where you're, you restrict anything. You have now more companies where we can uh, freely do business and work with, like, you know, especially in the repair industries, supplies, services, agencies. The policy of openness and mutuality has served the country well, and China intends to join hands with the rest of the world to build a community with a shared future. To reinvent the poet's words, we'd better sail together on the boundless ocean. 中国开放的大门不会关闭，只会越开越大。<音>